Welcome back. This is our algebra two transformation of functions, lesson number one, shifting functions homework review part two. Please make sure you catch part one where we go over some of the basics of our trans or translation of or shifting of functions. If the quadratic function f of x is a turning point at neg three comma seven, then where does the quadratic function define g of x equals f of x plus four parentheses plus five have a turning point? So we start question number two, seeing in this case, well, what type of transformation do we have here? Well, it looks like x comma y is going to be transformed, translated. We see here x minus four means shift left four units. And then we see plus five means shift up five units. So our function now becomes, our, our translation becomes x comma y becomes x minus four comma y plus five. And that's what we're gonna do here. We have our vertex of negative three comma seven, turning point in this case. And if we, if we take away a four, we have negative three minus four. And then for the y value, we have seven plus five. So our new turning point or vertex will be neg seven comma 12. And that's gonna be choice one. So we, we identify in this case, what type of translation is occurring here. And then from there, we're going to, uh, in this case, uh, apply that translation to the turning point or vertex of this function. Question number three. Over which of the following intervals would the function h of x equals absolute value of x minus two, close, close absolute value, plus six be decreasing only? And in this case, sketch a graph of the function if needed. Well, we see here, based upon this, our, our value in this case, uh, well, transformation wise is gonna be the following. We see here x minus two, which means shift right by two. Because inside the parentheses, in this case, after that, x is the parentheses, whatever number we see is the opposite we think. So in this case, we see minus two, it really means add two to the right, okay? And uh, for the plus six on the outside, that would mean shift up six units. So we're going to have, in this case, x plus 2, comma y plus 6. Now, here, for absolute value of x, it kind of looks like this here, kind of like a V-shape. And so our really our turning point for this function is going to be 0, 0. So we see the change here from 0, 0. We apply this translation of x plus two was zero plus two, and y was zero plus six, our new turning point is two comma six, which means in this case, let's see now, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So our new turning point would be here, and it would look kind of like this. Now the question is saying, for which interval, would this function be decreasing only? And so it's decreasing all the way downwards, and we're talking about interval over x, all the way at up to x equals two. So for all, so in this case, h of x is decreasing for all x less than Two. Now, decreasing means in this case, as you move further to the right, each y value is less than the one before it, though. And so, our answer for number two is number three actually is choice two, x less than two. We find this by looking at the original function, absolute value of x, the parent function in this case we call it, and then seeing how it shifted and taking a look at the turning point. Question number four. If the domain of f of x is neg three less than equal to x is less than equal to nine, 
and the range of f of x is 2 less than or equal to y and less than or equal to 15, then which of the following statements is correct about domain? g of x equals f, or the domain range of g of x equals f of x minus 2 minus 8. Well, we see here, this is going to be a shift an x minus 2, shift right by 2. Okay, and this here on negative 8 means shift down by 8. So our original domain is going to be neg 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 9. Well, if we shift right by 2, to shift right by 2 means we're going to add 2 to the x values. So we'll add 2 here and add 2 here, which gives us our domain to be neg 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 11. We then also take a look and look at the, the range. The range is 2 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 15. And we're going to shift down by 8. Now, shift down by 8 means we're going to subtract 8 from the, from the y values. So here, we're going to do minus 8 and minus 8. And we'll see in this case that we get negative 6 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 7. So this is our domain. And we see it can't be choice 2 and it can't be choice 4. And this is our range. And in this case, our range is from neg 6 to, to 7, so it can't be choice 1. It must be choice 3. And that's going to be how we find our, our domain and range after we shift a function from its original domain and range. So we don't even, know, don't even need to know the function itself, but we know the translation performed on the function. We can see that the, trans, the translation performed on the domain and range apply as well, too. Okay? All right, everybody. This is going to be the end of our Algebra 2 Transformation Functions Lesson Number 1, Shifting Function Overview Part 2. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a like. We really appreciate it. Please leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. You know, write down in this case, hey, you know, what things did you learn? That would be kind of nice to know that, you know, what part of the video was helpful to you. All right? This way I can kind of focus on future videos of doing such the same things as well to you. I thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. And also, if you have no friends who are having trouble with this, share the video. That would be awesome to you. Thanks so much, everybody, again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe.